Hello everyone, Janine here for Tiger Talk Thursday. In the house, we've got Autumn Moores. Um, she is, was, uh, do you see my sheets on, upside down? <laughs> she was captain of the Dalhousie Tigers. Um, you sport academic all Canadian, um, bachelor of science in biology and minor in French Dalhousie University. And she graduated on the Dean's list. Woohoo, so did I. <laughs> Not that we're comparing notes. And former Ottawa Junior Lady Senator. So we're so excited to have her here today. This is episode four of Transforming, uh, tra sorry, Transforming, Transitioning um, to Life After Sports. And I was so excited to meet Autumn at uh, Tammy Lafferty's. It was the Ed Lafferty football event. Yeah. And we just hit it off. And I was like, oh my goodness, we need to chat. She graduated last May. So she is fresh out of university. Um, in this mindset, the last few episodes we've done it with some old, a couple older athletes. Don't take offense to that, Tony or Tommy or <laughs> Pat, who I interviewed before. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for being here. Yeah. Um, so let's get right into it. Last May. Yeah. You graduated. What's that, what's that journey been like with, for, for you? Uh, there's been a lot of changes to it for sure, starting off. So I graduated not really knowing what I wanted to do, what life was going to be like after hockey. Yeah. Um, I actually, right after, I think I accepted like a government job in Ottawa. Uh, <laughs> nothing so, wrong with that. No, nothing <laughs> wrong with that at all. But it was again, just like, okay, well, like, I guess I have to go to work now and like get yeah. that figured out. And I think it was supposed to start in August and um, my friends always say, like, I talked into existence that I was not going to work for the government because <laughs> I came home and I was like, that's just like, I don't know what I want to do now. Like, it's just like, it's not exciting me. And like, normally you have the summer going back and like, you're preparing, you have a routine, you're really working hard, you're training. And like, I, I didn't have that routine anymore. And it was a really big change. And so it took a lot of time to figure out what I really wanted to do. And I still don't know what I want to do. Let's yeah. put that there. Um, <laughs> and that's okay. Some of us don't know what we want to do at 40 years old. Yeah. yeah. So it's taken some time. Um, I do have a job now. I did not take the government job. I am working in sales. So I, I'm happy I chose that. It is something that I, I feel kind of gives me the, the team atmosphere of like you're working towards something. And so I did take some time to reflect and see what I was missing from sport. And it was every year you're going back and you're building and you're getting better and like you're working towards something. And so I chose some. How did you reflect? Did you journal? Did you write? Did you just sit there? Uh, I did a lot. I like going for walks for one. And like, that's when like everything kind of starts flowing in and thinking. And so a lot of walking, definitely some journaling there too of like, I took some time to one, write down like what I liked, like in life. Like I, I, I really like public speaking and that's why I went into sales. I like talking to people. I sat down and I was like, okay, if I'm going to pick something, I want to do something that I know is helping people. So I'm in medical sales. Um, do I, again, is this the perfect thing? I'm not sure yet. Like I'm still really learning and I'm really happy for the experiences that I'm having. Mm -hmm. Um, but so learning that I like talking, I'm good at talking and then <laughs> I, we're a good match. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's, that's what kind of helped me narrow the career that I wanted, but it wasn't easy to get in either. It was like applying to a lot of jobs and mm -hmm. a lot of no's and then like, okay, well like maybe I just have to take this job and I can't not have a job. I had a lot of support from my parents too, that they were like, you are not like, you don't want this. Like, why would you do that? I'm like, well, I have to, like, I have no money. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Mom, are you watching? My mom has been trying to push me to the government for as long as I can remember. And no fault. I mean, it's, it's security, right? And yeah. there's nothing wrong with any government jobs, no, but, but I think if they know, I think athletes, a lot of us are squeamish in like, uh, sitting at a desk or we need that competitive nature somehow. Yeah. And like, there's something that you're working towards as a group. Yeah. And I will say the team that I'm on is like, there's actually probably three or four of them that are ex varsity athletes in the oh, states wicked. too. There's, They're that, like yeah. football and basketball guys, and I'm like, this is this is my home because at least we're all like on the same page here. <laughs> Absolutely. So you you've been out so May a year now. Yeah. Tell me about that period of reflection. I'm assuming you kind of felt some frustration at the beginning because usually we don't just dial it right in right away on what no. we want to land. It's a consistent day to day practice, and that's what I try to share with a lot of people is introspection is an, if this is, if you commit to this type of lifestyle, it's every day. Life is going to throw you stuff every day and you need to manage your thoughts and your emotions and, and all that stuff. So what was that like for you? Did you have some down days? 
Yeah, there was a lot. You seem like naturally kinda, like, positive. I but, am. Yeah. I am naturally <laughs> positive, and so like there was a lot. I don't know of kind of like setbacks, I guess. Like, and it is like a battle within your own head. I think is the best way to describe it. Like, not if you go to like fitness and working out too. Like. I would say for me, maybe like November ish is like when I feel like I've kind of established like a normal life routine after hockey. And I think that kind of chaos is what really like threw me into chaos of like, I, you almost get caught up in fads, if that makes sense of like, okay, like I'm going to work out and do this. And then like, it doesn't last. The life of extreme. Yeah. Like you're like, Oh, this is like, this is going to be it. Like this is, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to like, I'm going to, be on the schedule and do that. And then like, oh, maybe I'm going to get into do you think like, it's because of that? Because we, our schedule was just told. We were told. Yeah. yeah. You're basically told when to eat, <laughs> sleep, and do all of life's other things. It's like you just had to show up. Really. you that And I talk about that in my TED Talk. Like you yeah. just literally have to show up and get yeah. to play the game you love. You know, you don't even have to buy your own equipment. It's there for you type thing. So um, I think so there's like a lot of like letdowns in the end. Like you feel like you're kind of letting yourself down after that. Cause you're like, mm, this is going to be the one I got it. Like this is my, yeah, I apply for a job that I'm like, oh, okay. Like I don't, I still have my government job, but I'm not going to take it. So I'm applying to this. I'm applying <laughs> to this. From the government is watching. Sorry. It didn't work Sorry. out. With them. <laughs> but like, I still like, okay, I'm applying to this job here. This is going to be perfect. And it's like, I'm going to get back on like, this workout schedule because like this is like you miss that part for yeah. sure of the routine because like the endorphins make you feel great and yeah. like just in general and so okay this is gonna be it this is like yeah like Actually, I, I figured it out I figured it out and then it's like mm, okay no and then it's you're just not doing anything and then it's like okay I'm gonna but I think trying again is the biggest thing in the end and that's where I say I feel like I don't have it figured, all figured out right now I would say in my life currently too like I'm still every day thinking, I'm still every day <laughs> We're all about, still <laughs> trying to figure it out. <laughs> no, but like finding that like hole where hockey is, like yeah. that like new passionate thing of like, this is like every day, it's like, it's not work, it's not yeah. like, you just, you're going to get better and Let's like go back you're to putting your body out. Yeah. Because <laughs> did you have a period, because so for people that don't know, um, when you have that type of activity in your life, you're, you know, uh, serotonin, um, oxytocin, all the feel good hormones, um, are running through your body dopamine. Yeah. Right. And then that's why when people get injured, they usually go into a deep depression because they're so emotionally, um, off yeah. because they're used to having all that, all those hormones going through them. Did you ever stop? Did you have a period where you, where you stopped training after you left and graduated because, and then, cause that's, did you notice a decline and then maybe, Oh, Hey, I'm not feeling my best. Let's get back to the gym. I always say that to athletes. Like if you need to get out of your headspace, let's start with, I'm having a hot flash. Sorry guys, menopause. <laughs> I need my fan. I don't have it here. Um, I always say, get back to the gym, move your body. And then you're going to get into a headspace where you can reflect. But when you're in that other side, did you experience that? Yeah. So I was kind of in this weird spot coming after I graduated in May, I left with a couple injuries. Oh, okay. um, and so in my mind, I was like, this is going to be great. I'm going to like, my body's going to heal. I'm going to get better. Like, oh my God, I've never had a break like this before. And then a few months after I'm like, I feel like worse. Like, I feel like I'm yeah. not getting better. Like I like, what is going on here? And so again, once I finally started working out again, um, a couple of like my teammates and I, like we still talk to, and I'm like, I don't know why my body breaks down when I stop working out and the time that I get back to working out and training, I feel amazing and I feel great again and it's like it's healing itself. I'm like, this is so backwards to like when people tell you to rest, <laughs> take your time. Yeah. So it, it wasn't until I got back that I like, again, felt that, but I, I did have that period of like, why, like, why am I just feeling so crappy right now? Like, yeah. So I'm having a massive hot flash. <laughs> um, I love that you nailed, you said rest. So a lot of people don't know that there's seven different forms of rest and why, where I think rest gets mistaken is rest does not mean laying on the couch with your head in social media. Yeah. <laughs> rest is, you know, it's gotta be so that's why I'm so passionate about introspection and reflection and excavating your mind because there's a lot of stuff that is in there that's not meant to be in there. Our brains are like filing cabinets. And if you think of a filing cabinet that's overflowing, you try to push it, you can't close it. It's not going to work properly, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm so passionate about writing and so passionate about journaling because it's like you get it out on the paper. Then you get to choose what picks and what stays and goes in yeah. your life. 
And then there's room for your body to breathe. You you literally feel this weight off your shoulder. Mm -hmm. And then it's like a blank canvas and you get to choose what you create again. So I love that you, you nailed that on the uh, emotions and the rest. So for people about to transition, maybe still playing, um, or that are going through the thick of it and they're, they're suffering in silence. Yeah. What would be some advice that you want to leave them with after this chat today? Um, just based one, on your experience, based on my experience, like to keep trying, like again, the first option is not going to work. Like <laughs> honestly, probably not. The 50th, like, like the 50th just maybe keep showing get, up. Yeah. That's like, my message. Keep showing and up. And <laughs> I think that is a great message of to just keep showing up and keep trying because like, they're not all right and meant to be, but I think learning from it is the best thing you can mm. you can take. But it's not just learning from the experience; it's learning about yourself. And like that's what this year has been for me. Of like, okay, I really like this. That is a big no for me over there. Like you know, what I, like that's been the biggest point of kind of figuring out who you are without your sport in the end, mm. because it is a massive life change. And also that like you athletes probably will not fit into the regular whole of we're gonna get a job and then you're just gonna get a house <laughs> no, and like you're gonna exactly like, like it's not normal and it's no. you'll probably be a bit busier and like finding those avenues to again like still use that athletic spirit and like i have started somewhat coaching and like i've just finding joy of like okay no i like being back in this space and that's mm -hmm. giving me some happiness that way and it, like it might not be the same but finding those different avenues is the best way to kind of start and then it grows from there Great advice, Autumn. I I believe in that wholeheartedly. Uh, try say yes to everything. I'm like the queen of random experiences. My <laughs> husband's like, "Where are you going? What are you doing?" <laughs> but you never know who you're going to meet, and you never know what what joy it's going to spark in you, and you never know what door is going to open to something that really fulfills you. So, I appreciate you taking the time today. I'm excited to see where you go yeah. and what what you what how your life unfolds. Um, such a great resource. If anybody is, is, uh, transitioning or leaving the sporting world and wants to chat with someone who has, you know, fresh, she's like a fresh baby yeah, I am. <laughs> out of the sport. Or I, has advice for me either. I'm open yeah, to that too. I love it. Open-minded. Uh, be sure to reach out. You can comment below, ask your questions. Autumn can reply, but, um, if you're struggling, know that you are not alone. There's a whole community of people that want to help you. And what we're trying to do with this, these episodes is really shed light on the mental piece that athletes go through transitioning to life after sports and that you don't have to go at it alone. So thank you for being here today and um, stay tuned. Next week, we've got some really great athletes coming your way. So have a great weekend, everyone. Have a great Friday tomorrow and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.